Hello! In this video, I'm gonna be explaining level 82 of the back rooms, also known as self automated trade. This one is unique, and it's a cool place to get a bunch of supplies at, but it's also deadly if you don't obey the set of rules that it has, like it's closing time. Anyways, I think y'all will like this one, at least I hope you do. Thank you for clicking on the video, and without further talking, let's just get into it, shall we? Backrooms of 82 is the 83rd level in the catalog of lore, and it's been classified as a class 1 difficulty for it being decently safe and decently secure with a very high entity count. Although I would venture to say it should be a class 2 difficulty because of how dangerous it can actually be. The level's environment takes the appearance of a never-ending indoor market type area that has a very, very strict opening and closing schedule. The entire place is indoors. There's no sky access or anything, and there's no access at all to the outside. It's this giant indoor market. It's absolutely massive. There are multiple floors, multiple levels, and the ceiling is very tall. Speaking of the ceiling, there are these massive window panes that look out to the cloudy sky above. There's no visible sun, but light does shine through the windows, so it has to come from somewhere. The design of this level is sort of like an old Victorian market mixed with modern day mall type thing. It has modern amenities like light bulbs and electricity and that kind of thing, but it definitely feels older, like it's not from the modern day. Inside the market, there are shops that shoot off into different hallways and directions, and the majority of the shops here are very large. Some can be very packed and small the closer you get to the center of the level, but for the most part, it's pretty expansive. And this is the main part of the level, it's these markets. There are countless tightly packed together market booths and stalls here for you to explore. Inside the markets, you can find a variety of items, from different kinds of foods, to different kinds of waters and drinks, to clothing, anything you could think of. All of these markets and tents and everything can be explored and walked through as well, and you can actually barter and trade inside. Things like technology and baked goods and donuts and everything can be found. Your, your wildest desire. And like I said, the level is infinite, so you can just keep going forever and ever. Now, I'm sure you've been wondering, though, like, who actually controls the stores here? Who mans the stalls? Who does the checkouts and everything? Who stocks the shelves? Who works here? And that's actually a weird answer, because inexplicably and strangely, all the market stalls are run by entities. All of these entities are regular old backrooms creatures like smilers and hounds and bursters and dentists and animations, just to name a few. And typically the more aggressive entities actually run these stores. Although it does seem to be that they do have the level 11 effect that makes them more dull and less aggressive. These creatures still move around and have aggressive mannerisms and they look scary, but they don't outright attack people while serving them or while trading with them unless it's past closing time. Speaking of which, Currency and trading in this level has very, very loose rules, and it typically goes by a case-by-case -case basis. Because currency doesn't really exist in the back rooms, there's no US dollar, there's no euro or anything, so people kind of just trade based off of equal things. But if you want to trade with an entity that works one of these shops, you'll have to walk around and find a tent or a market that you want something out of, go inside and bring an item from inside the market to the desk, tell the entity what you have to trade, and they will either confirm or deny the trade. And you can get whatever it is, or you won't. Things you could use to trade are items like royal rations, almond water, and things of that nature. The entities that do these trades are usually pretty relaxed and lenient, as they're under the level 11 effect, but this is only during the daytime hours. They're only calm and passive then. Although they don't like loitering or standing around inside their shop, so don't just take up space. And if you do want to end up trading something, make sure it's a swift transaction and never ever try to haggle or swindle the entities down on prices or, or try to get a better trade. Don't try to connive them or anything because they know, they know, they will attack if they find you doing it. There's actually a notice on this level's page that I'm about to read that specifically warns against haggling and swindling. Quote, under no circumstances should anyone attempt to swindle, con, or lowball the traders behind the stalls. Whilst acting in a predominantly docile and almost harmless state, the fact that these entities act under such parameters under their own free will has led to the discovery that these entities can switch off these behavioral differences if the individual they are trading with are attempting to scam or push a trade on the entity that they have deemed insufficient. Level 82's entities will kill 
any individual at a moment's notice and will promptly return back to their next station moments later, usually leaving behind the corpse of those they executed in front of the stall. So you've been warned. That's all I got to say. So on a daily basis, level 82 goes through something called closing time. This is an event that happens every night. And that's what I mentioned at the beginning that kind of makes the level a little more dangerous than the class one difficulty it has. And you're not going to want to mess this up, so make sure you listen closely. During this closing stage, the vendors of the stores and the markets will close the businesses by shutting down the metal doors in front. You've all seen like the metal shutters that go down in front of malls and stuff. That's what happens here. And the entities there will lock up and close up the shop for the night. All of this happens within a few minute period. All the lights in the doors will shut in under one minute and the darkness overhead will start to creep in. The lights will go out, the sun from above will stop shining and it'll be completely dark inside. This is what the closing time starts as and the second the doors start shutting, you need to find an exit to vacate the level instantly. Because after all the doors are shut and all the lights are off, all the vendor entities will go on a routine of removing patrons and starting to chase them towards exits. This is when they're starting to lose their cool and this period will last for about 30 minutes and during that 30 minutes you can get chased or eaten by a creature that wants you out because they consider you trespassing since it's past closing time after that 30 minutes it's about 9 30 local time and the stores and the markets here will not open again until the next day at approximately 7 a.m local time so during those closing hours you should never be in here during those closing hours if you're in here you will probably get eaten by some weird creature all entrances and all exits to the market are closed down during those times as well. So even if you were trapped in here, it's pretty much impossible to hide because all the entities are constantly chasing you around. Nice. So because of the aggression from the entities, there's no meg bases or, or outposts that can be established here. Since apparently people don't like being eaten by entities, it's not a good place to set up a base. But during the daytime, it is pretty safe. The entrances and exits to this level work very differently than the usual backrooms entrances, as these entrances are one way only. Usually in levels, you can kind of go wherever, but you have to go to these specific ones to get here. The main way to enter is by going to level 55 and going to an empty store aisle and then no clipping through the aisle there and you'll be sent here. And to exit, remember you have to do so before that closing time event starts. That way you don't get eaten and you need to find one of the following ways to exit. The main one is by running around until you find a set of spinning and revolving doors at the quote unquote front of the building. And once you go outside those revolving doors, you'll be inside of level 159, the forgotten mall, and you'll turn around and the level you just came from won't be there. So you have to go in one way and you have to go out another way. Make sure you know where the entrances and exits are. That way you don't get trapped during the closing time. But yeah, that was level 82. It's a market that you can barter and trade things with and entities run it and you can only be there from seven to nine. And if you're not there from seven to nine, you might get, well, eaten. So, hope you liked it. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. Guys, I cannot believe the support this channel still has over these years. Thank you so much for the growth on Brugly and Spoogly as well. I'm just so happy with the content that I'm producing. I, I cannot believe you guys still enjoy it. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm speechless. I cannot wait to see what the future brings. I have a ton of stuff planned, a ton of uh, new stuff planned that I'm going to bring out. And I just hope you're, you're sticking around for the ride. Hope you're enjoying Brugly Summer Spectacular too. Leave a like if you are. And without further ado, I'm going to end up the video here. Bye-bye.